What's going on boys and girls? We are now just three days away from the start of the brand new Premier League season. But the transfer window slams shut in just under three weeks time. It's been heavily reported that Leicester have submitted a £50 million bid for Southampton defender Yannick Vestergaard. Could Jesse Lingard be a potential replacement for James Madison if he goes to Arsenal? And is Rashi Gazelle very close to be joining Turkish side Besiktas? We'll be discussing all that boys and girls in today's video as we get into the latest video discussing Leicester transfers. Here we go. Yes lads, how you all doing? Welcome back to a brand new video on the channel today, boys and girls. We are back once again. You guys know the drill. Of course, today we're discussing the latest Leicester transfer rumours and news around the big summer transfer window. And just before we proceed on with today's video, boys and girls, you guys do go on to enjoy today's video. Let me know by dropping a big thumbs up. Also, subscribe to the channel if you guys have not already. We're now on the road to 3,000 subscribers. Any help towards that? would be massively appreciated. There's still a large percentage of you guys who are not subscribed to the channel. What are you doing? Go down below, subscribe to the channel, help me out. Yeah, but without further ado, let's go. Right then, starting things off, the big news, Yannick Vestergaard. So of course, Yannick Vestergaard is a 29-year-old centre-back, currently playing football at Southampton. Of course, he also is a Danish international. And today, lads, we have got some very, very big transfer news. The Athletic reports LCFC have submitted an opening bid worth up to £15 million for Saints defender Yannick Vestergaard. The bid has not yet been accepted as Southampton hold out for more. There we go then, boys and girls, the big news. Leicester have submitted an opening bid for Yannick Vestergaard. It looks like the Danish centre-back will be Leicester's number one centre-back target as the window comes to a close. Mike McGrath also reports Leicester have held talks over Yannick Vestergaard following Fafana and Evans injuries. He's a strong candidate among centre-backs being considered one year left on his Saints deal. Of course, the key thing there, one year left on his Southampton contract. So it looks like Vestergaard doesn't really want to stay at Southampton and could have moved beyond Leicester for the Danish centre-half. Back onto the transfer itself, The Athletic also reports that Southampton are believed to be holding out for around £18 million. So yeah, an £18 million price tag has been set on Yannick Vestergaard. For me, you know, that is pretty good to be honest. I think, you know, this guy's got lots of Premier League experience, a Danish international. For me, this guy is a very good player at the age of 29 in his peak years. So overall, £18 million for Yannick Vestergaard, in my opinion, is a very good price. As always, boys and girls, let me know your thoughts on that price in the comment section down below. Is it, is it reasonable or not? Let me know down below. And it looks like Leicester will be able to reach that £18 million price tag for Yannick Vestergaard. Alex Crook reports, TalkSport sources, Vestergaard's LCFC is edging closer. Fox's initial offer too low, but Southampton hope of a greener deal of £15 million plus bonuses. So yeah, it looks like Leicester will be able to come to that 18 million price tag quite easily through bonuses. Obviously, 50 million offer plus bonuses of around 3 million for me. That is probably the best way to go about this transfer and to try and secure Yannick Vestergaard from Southampton. And finally, Alex Crook also goes on to say, I will be very surprised if Vestergaard to Leicester does not go through now. More transfer window challenges for the Southampton hierarchy. So yeah, lads, here we go. Yannick Vestergaard looks set to join Leicester in the next couple of days. Of course, from that, we can see that Southampton, you know, are in some financial trouble. So obviously, they already let go of Dunning. So it looks like they could probably get rid of Vestergaard quite easy as well to free up some cash for Southampton. You know, they are not looking in the best situation right now, are the Saints. And of course, Leicester have already negotiated with Southampton already this summer transfer. And obviously, Ryan Bertrand came from Southampton. So it looks like Leicester and Southampton do have a pretty decent relationship. And I think, you know, this transfer will be pretty easy to sort out. So yeah, man like Yannick Vestergaard is going to be a fox. You love to see it. But talking about the player himself, in my opinion, Yannick Vestergaard is perfect for Leicester because Vestergaard is absolutely massive. He's about six foot five or whatever. This guy is an absolute monster. Of course, last season we were awful at set pieces, defending them and trying to score from them. Obviously, Vestergaard is going to help out a lot in that situation. Overall defensively as well, this guy is a very solid defender who's probably been Southampton's best defender last season. So, lads, I'm going to hand it straight over to you in the comment section down below. As always, let me know your thoughts and opinions on Yannick Vestergaard down below. Your thoughts on the price tag, your thoughts on the player. Is it a good signing? Is it not? Obviously, it's not confirmed yet, but boys, it's probably going to be confirmed very soon as I think, you know, this deal is going to come through pretty quickly so yeah, boys as always let me know thoughts down below
So then moving straight on, let's discuss Jesse Lingard as a potential replacement for James Madison if he goes to Arsenal. So first of all lads, no need to worry, James Madison is not going anywhere right now, but there has been some reports suggesting that Leicester are lining up Jesse Lingard as a potential replacement if Madison does go to Arsenal, which you know is pretty unlikely. Of course, Jesse Lingard is a 28-year-old English international, current place for, for Manchester United, of course, last season he was on loan at West Ham where he performed very well for the Irons. And a cheeky fact for you guys, Jesse Lingard was actually a Leicester player in 2012 where he was on loan at Leicester, of course, since then, things have progressed quite quickly at Leicester City Football Club. So could man like Jay Lings come back to Leicester? We will find out. But of course, this has all came from Chris Wheatley. He reports, Football London has learned that Manchester United midfielder Jesse Lingard is being lined up for as a replacement for James Madison in the event he leaves the club. Chris Wheatley is a reliable journalist as well, so you know there's definitely some truth in this, but I don't think there's anything to really worry about. I think you know Leicester are very organised just for the way they do the transfers. You know, if Madison does go, there's a slight chance that they will have a replacement straight away in Jesse Lingard. So before all of the Arsenal fans, you know, start celebrating, you know, James Madison, you know, he is still a Leicester player and he's probably going to play on Saturday against Wolves. Hopefully. Hopefully you'll score. But straight back on to Jesse Lingard then. It's been reported now. Jesse Lingard eyed by Leicester City as a potential replacement for James Madison. This from Mirror Football. So pretty much lads. If James Madison does leave Leicester this summer. We can expect to see Jesse Lingard potentially join Leicester from Manchester United. Potentially on a loan or a full deal and, and a permanent signing. Of course all of this has stemmed from James Madison. And his potential transfer to Arsenal. So yeah boys let's get a quick update on a deal of Madison potentially going to Arsenal. Chris Wheatley reports. Arsenal still some way apart from Leicester's valuation of James Madison. Focus is now on bringing a backup keeper and a creative midfielder of AFC exploring cheaper alternatives to James Madison. So there we go then boys and girls. Nothing too major with James Madison to Arsenal. Of course if he does go like I said Jesse Lingard could be the potential replacement of the English international. But for me I would definitely take Jesse Lingard in replacement. Obviously Jesse Lingard at the back end of the last season for West Ham was absolutely immense. He was scoring almost every game and he was a real menace for West Ham. So you know if you can bring that to Leicester it would be a pretty decent replacement for James Madison. But obviously lads nothing too major right now. So as always boys and girls let me know your thoughts and opinions on this in the comment section down below. Jesse Lingard, James Madison. Let me know your thoughts down below. And finally then, moving on to man like Rashid Gazelle. So of course, Rashid Gazelle is a 29-year-old Algerian international and looks set to move to Turkish side, the Shiktas. Of course, Gazelle has been a Leicester player since 2018, but overall the move has never really worked out. He played limited games throughout his Leicester career and overall, you know, a move to the Shiktas is probably the right thing to do for Rashid Gazelle. Of course, he did feature a little bit so far this pre-season, but you know, overall thing a move to the Shiktas is good for Leicester and good for Gazelle as a player himself. And of course, Gazelle was on loan at the Shiktas last season. You know, he performs pretty well. And I do believe that Gazelle is becoming a fan's favourite of, of the Besiktas fans. And it looks like the move will be confirmed in the next couple of days or even hours. Fabrizio Romano has spoken. Rashi Gazelle will fly to Istanbul today in order to complete his move to Besiktas. Total agreement confirmed with Leicester. Gazelle will sign in the next hours. And as we can see from here, Rashi Gazelle pictured in Istanbul with several fans around him. So yeah, boys, pretty much it's now a matter of time for Gazelle joins Besiktas on a permanent basis. Mail Online Sport are reporting this. Less City winger Rashi Gazelle set to complete a £4 million move to Besiktas this summer. So yeah, that's just £4 million for Rashi Gazelle. We have really lost out on this transfer and it's a rare occasion where, you know, Leicester's business hasn't really worked out. Of course, Gazelle was meant to be the Riyad Mahrez replacement, you know, it never really happened. So let's hope Gazelle can perform well at Besiktas and that all the best for the rest of his career. But yeah, overall, it just didn't work out. Leicester did it at all for the Algerian international. So yeah, lads, as always, let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below on Rashi Gazelle. To be shit test for me, you know, it's probably the right move for me, you know, a bit disappointed, but overall it's probably just best to let to just let him go and of course get Gazelle off the Leicester City wage bill. So the boys and girls, that's it for today's video, of course. In today's video, we discussed the latest Leicester transfer rumours and news. Also, we went through the big news of Yannick Vestergaard, Jesse Lingard, James Balance, of course, just then, Rashid Gazelle. If you guys have enjoyed today's video, let me know by dropping a like. Subscribe as well to the channel if you guys have not already most importantly. Let me know your thoughts and opinions on the players of course today in the comment section down below boys and girls the new Premier League season is fast approaching lots of content coming boys and girls so yeah I'm a sportser and I'll see you guys very soon in the next video peace guys